Hey, what they do, YouTube? It's your boy Pot Doja Campaign SG. Back with another video, man. Shout out all my supporters out there, all my campers, man, supporting the channel. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> I'm at work right now on break, you know. Just wanted to check in with y'all. But um, I just finished watching this video, man. Uh, it, it's it's crazy because the video, it's the news, it's on the news down here uh, where I'm at. It's it's an article in Miami, but I just watched the video on YouTube. But, um, you know, like, a lot of people getting evicted out of these, um, trailer homes, you feel me, with nowhere to go. And I'm watching it, and, uh, they basically saying how on um, the living conditions getting worse, but rent going up. You feel me? And I'm like, <clears throat> and I just see they, they kind of, like, protesting and doing all type of stuff. And I'm like, man, it, it's crazy out here, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> Cause, 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 um, protesting, <clears throat> my bad, y'all, but like protesting and all that, I don't really know how all that type of stuff work, but I'm pretty sure that don't, that don't like them people don't care about that. You feel me? I think they, uh, I think they, they evicting them because, uh, it's not finna be a trailer home no more. You feel me? But it's like protesting don't help with that type of stuff. And these probably regular working people, some of them say they've been there 10 years and they just, they can't accept the fact that these not about to be a trailer home no more and they got to leave and, and then they saying the rent going up living conditions getting worse while rent going up you feel me and like when i see stuff like that <clears throat> i think different about it you feel me i don't just think i mean it is it's messed up though like you know hope all of them be good you feel me be straight but when i see stuff like that people even even just people getting evicted out of their regular home they ain't got to be trailer homes or nothing it just always with me it always come back to financial decisions and, and it's like damn like you know when you you know every anytime something like that go on just make me think like man if like for example if them people had better financial they was in a better financial predicament they won't be out there protest well some of them probably would because some of them just want to stay where they at but most of them like it won't be crazy like this where they reporting on the news they get an event they don't got nowhere to go it won't be that because if you got if your finances in order you you got somewhere to go you able to you know you able to get yourself together and it just be <clears throat> all that type of stuff be an eye open to me uh to me you feel me like it just it just always show me like you can't get comfortable out here i ain't never you know uh i don't want to jinx myself but i've never been in a situation where i got evicted or none of that you know we are you know uh you know I, we always make it happen However, you know, however we got to, but I'm just looking at it and it's just like, it's kind of, it's just messed up. You feel me? Like, and then <clears throat> it made me think deeper though. Like in my city, you feel me? They, they knocked down a lot of like, uh, public house, like projects. You feel me? A few infamous ones. Like if you from my city, the beans and the old Scots and all that type of stuff. And I was looking at this probably about two years ago. I was looking at this little documentary they was doing and people doing the same thing going down to the i don't know if it's the mayor or whatever but like kind of protesting and it's like that ain't gonna help us we don't got if you and i and i say us i'm speaking of i'm i'm just i'm just i'm putting me with the people you feel me especially in my city you feel me but that ain't gonna help us you know like you gotta you gotta get some sense of power out here these people you got people coming in building 50 million dollar like they ain't worrying about they don't care about like y'all like the people who living in these places and some um my people you know I, I you know it's like you bottom of the barrel they don't they don't they not they don't care about you protesting or you ain't got nowhere to go and they, like that's that's the least of their worries it, it's money to be made out here these people probably putting 50 to 100 million dollars into these uh, projects and they that's what they worry about gentrification and all that type of stuff you feel me <clears throat> and that's how i be thinking like i think deeper than just like damn because you know one time i was having a conversation we were talking about this because when you could these projects i'm talking about especially the beans the poking beans like they, they they infamous in my city you feel me like well infamous for the wrong reasons though infamous for a lot of violence killing and shit but if you know anything about miami the real miami you know that's one of the most infamous places down here and now it's is 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 being gentrified like and that's just happened in a lot of places but it just made me think bigger than just um they knocking down certain places in the hood or they putting people out it's just like 
it just showed like, and I ain't saying, I ain't saying like, cause I know, I know it's, it's different levels of, of, it's different levels of money and power and stuff, but it, it's possible to get to a certain spot. But I just, I do feel like, um, in a lot of these situations, especially somebody getting evicted, like having a better, having a better financial standing will help all that, you know, and people won't be in a situation where they is on the news and they saying they getting evicted, they don't got nowhere to go. You feel me? But that resort back to people just, you know, doing what they can, you know, ain't no not nobody, you know, we all gotta do what we gotta do out here, but working, paying their bills and whatever. And then when, when, when these real emergencies and stuff happen and it's like, you just asked out, you feel me? And that, that, that just be an eye opener for me. You feel me? Like, it just make I don't know, man. I just be wanna like I'm I'm just to the point where I just I just strive so hard, like man. I gotta I got I, I take like I just gotta take like you just gotta take life serious out here. You feel me, like for real. And I done went through my little shit. You feel me? And I'm I'm decent right now. You know, I'm I'm, I'm straight. Like, but I'm just saying, like when you go through shit, it just it just open your eyes. Like you gotta take life more serious. Like. Uh, getting evicted, that can't be no good feeling. You feel me? Or uh, even little other stuff, getting your car repo. But it's that's a that's less that's smaller than getting evicted. But yeah, man, and I, and I know this happening all across the world too. Like I know it's other places where people getting evicted and <clears throat> nowhere to go, and it's like you know, no hope, no you know, and, and it's all, all over the news, and that's kind of embarrassing too. Like even though people going through that nobody don't care about being embarrassed but it's like these people all over the news a lot it was a lot of spanish people so i don't know what uh, area that was in but i'm pretty sure it was a spanish area and they living in trailer pods and stuff and everybody not gonna be you know everybody some hey at the end of the day everybody not gonna be super successful and stuff and, you know i'm not i'm not i'm not saying that but me being the person I am, and if you the type of person who you are aware of this type of stuff and you in the midst and all that, like I said on my other videos, just, you know, it's just like trying to strive for more is not just because you want to live a flashy life and, and have a big house. It's to have real security. I ain't talking about just job security. Well, I mean, that's good too, but what about if they let you go, you know? So it's like, I'm talking about really being in a position where you... <clears throat> You got real security. You really financially stable for real. Not, not check the check and <clears throat> can't barely save up. You just doing it. You you making enough just to pay your bills. Like that's that's the life I don't really want to live. You know, and I I've been there and and it just it just ain't cool. You know, like. But at the end of the day, it all come back to circumstances and the decisions we make. So I understand that too. But I just be looking at little stuff, man. And I just be like, damn. It's, it's just crazy out here. Then it's so expensive. <clears throat> and like these people living in the trailer parts, you know, trailer homes. So it's like, when they showing, it's like, how I can say it, what I, it's like bottom of the barrel living. You feel me? And it's like, damn, it's, 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 it's kind of fucked up, you know? But I, I don't know, man. I just looked at this video and it just kind of made me, it just made me think like, <clears throat> It just made me think, man, like, man, I just gotta go hard, man. I don't, it, it ain't just for me, though. Like, I don't want nobody who I really rock with, care for, love to be in these predicaments, you feel me? Because anything can happen. But you know, it's always somebody, it's always that one person who could change the, the narrative for their whole family and everything. And, you know, you just gotta choose if you wanna be that person. You know, you might like like me. I know I'm that person, you know, and I got that's why I got to do different things in my life, you know, different shit to, you know, because I, I done been in and I done been that person where I'm helping out. I'm I'm talking about car note, rent and stuff like that with money, with, with not even a whole lot of money, you know, a couple of tens of thousands and stuff like that. So I don't I know how that feels. So I'm like, man. I just want to be in a, I just want to position myself better because people out here really getting evicted and people going through hard times out here, you know, and everybody, and that's another thing too, a lot of people on this YouTube, man, people be weird, man, because like, even if you ain't never go through nothing, it's like, 
it's kind of like you know because i title my videos a certain way and, and, and people would think i'm talking about my situation when that ain't the case but it's like even if i was talking about my situation y'all come on this motherfucker and like talking crazy like instead of uplifting you feel me but i ain't talking about me i'm i'm all right i'm i'm straight i ain't and if i go through something i'm not getting on here whining and complaining about it but it's like when i'm coming from an angle like damn, I, you know only if these people was in a better position they won't be going through this you know but at the end of the day even when i do get in a better position where i could really change a lot you can't save everybody you know some people don't even want to be saved or care to be saved but at the end of the day you know when it comes to close people and stuff i do want to make that change and be that person because it's, it's really real out here people getting evicted people uh losing their jobs people have to go some people got to go to the shelter move in with family all type of stuff you know it's it ain't it ain't like just play play out here you know but we still got to live our life and, and I ain't finna act like I'm just the most, like I still gotta work on spending better and, and you know, all type of stuff, you know? So I'm, I'm just, I'm learning as I go, you know? But when I when I see these type of situations, people getting evicted and, and I done seen it in real life, seeing people get evicted, you know? And now it's so expensive out here, I'm pretty sure it's going on more often. But when I see this, it, it just make me think about like, damn, it's real out here, you feel me? It's real, and, and me personally, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be in a position where I don't ever gotta go through that. And, and the people I love and who around me, I don't want them going through that, you know? So, yeah, man, I'm at work right now, but like, I, I can't get comfortable with this. This ain't enough. This enough to take care of me and my love, you know, my family, my kids, my two step kids, me and my girl, we take care of each, you know, we do we do we, what we do, but I'm talking, I gotta, that's just my love family. It's a whole, you know, I got a whole big family and people I care for and all that. And, and it's hard out here. So I just want to be that person, you know. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> I got to help myself first. And because everybody not on what you on too. So it's like everybody, people see that article, people see that news on um, video, that clip. People not thinking the way I'm thinking about it. Some people just see it, damn, that's messed up or whatever. But I'm thinking deeper about it, like, man, this shit real out here, man. It's, it's, it's real life out here, man. You really got to get yourself together, like, for real. Like, you really got to try to do whatever you can to get get in a better position, you know. So, and that that's what I'm on. That's what I've been on the last few years, you know. And it's like, it, it, and it, it, it be hard, too. Like, it, it's hard to really get yourself in a better position, but... It feels so good when you kind of get that feeling of that. I'm really getting ahead. I'm really, you know, if you in debt, paying your debt down and stuff like that. You know, it's just like, that's a good feeling. So, yeah, man, I, I know I'm all over the place, but I just seen that video. And it's crazy because it's happening in my city. And I'm like, damn, this shit real out here, man. Rent, rent expensive and people getting evicted out of trailer pods and they could just... This, this somewhere you lived at for 10 years and out of nowhere, these people could just come and say, this ain't no trailer park no more, y'all gotta go. And we don't know where y'all gonna go, but y'all gotta get from around here. This shit crazy, man, like, but when you when you do when you do work and you try to, you know, when you think about this type of stuff and you taking it serious, like, you could be on top of that, you know, but, hey, man, I can't save everybody, man. Shit, I gotta save myself and get, get right first, you feel me, but, yeah, man, I just wanted to uh, come on here and just speak speak a little bit, man, you know. But, hey, shout out to y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all for uh, subscribing and really just supporting the channel, all the interactions, all the positive comments, even the negative comments, man. Y'all do what y'all do, man. But shout out to y'all, man. Pot Doja, Campaign SG Forever. I'm gone.